So the uh, Cascade Components linkages, which we've made for the Santa Cruz Bronson, Santa Cruz Nomad, Santa Cruz Mega Tower, and soon we will have the Specialized Stump Jumper link out. They all increase travel and increase progressivity in, in the suspension. This is, this is what people mainly have heard about our linkages, and there's some finer points that I'd, I'd like to touch on to clarify you know, the, the design intent, uh, why our leverage ratios look like they do, um, what exactly this accomplishes for you, give you a better idea of how spring rates um, are intended to, to be used to optimize your suspension with these linkages. So let's, uh, let's start off with the increased progressivity. All of our linkages, they, they increase the initial leverage ratio and they, they leave the, the final leverage ratio approximately where it was with the stock link, give or take a little bit. Um, varies bike to bike, obviously. So what, what this change in progressivity, change in leverage ratio is doing is it's, it's essentially allowing a stiffer spring to be run without it negatively impacting your small bump sensitivity and without making the bike you know, feel overly stiff and sit too high in its travel. So the, the, reason, the reason we wanted to cater to stiffer springs um, is because when you look at bottom out resistance, you, know, you really, you have three options. You can increase your damping force, you can increase your spring rate, or you can increase your shock stroke. These are all things that will increase bottom out resistance. Now, this is always a balancing act. So let's say you've found the perfect amount of damping force you want. You don't want to run more damping because it makes, it makes the bike feel harsh over smaller bumps. It makes the bike feel less alive. So you've decided you, you're not going to touch your damping. You like that where it is. You want to solve your bottom out resistance you know, in another way so you can maintain the small bump sensitivity that you've found a good setting for. So that leaves you two options. You can increase your shock stroke or you can increase your spring rate. Now with a lot of frames out there, you, you can't increase the stroke of your shock, so you're, you're left with really one option. You can increase your spring rate. So we, what we did is we increased the initial leverage ratio to, to gain you that bottom out resistance of a stiffer spring while having it feel more supple um, off the top allowing it to maintain traction, maintain small bump sensitivity over those you know, really small obstacles like roots and rocks and whatnot. So you, you, gain, you gain the bottom out resistance of a stiffer spring without having to increase your damping forces, which allows the, the suspension to remain more active and deal with those high frequency, low amplitude impacts with ease. All the links that we have produced dramatically improve the descending performance of a given frame. However, we still, we still ride these bikes every day at our local trails. They still need to be able to climb to the top. They still need to remain pedalable. So we, we've worked to, to maintain the ride height and maintain the geometry of these bikes while you're pedaling. So when, when you're seated with the proper spring rate um, or proper air pressure, the bike will still sit where it was designed to sit, so it maintains the pedaling characteristics that the stock bike had. So if, if you're doing you know, really large climbs, really long rides to access technical trails that you feel like you know, it would be fun to ride a downhill bike on, then you can put this link on your bike, have it feel like a mini downhill bike, and still pedal to the top just as easily as you would have before. So with our links, you get a bike that has increased bottom out resistance, increased small bump sensitivity, which makes it able to, to track over rough terrain much better. It has more mid-travel support, and the pedaling is just as good as it was with the stock setup. 